This Kaleidoscope's coloring pad from Hunky Dory is filled with foil die cuts ready for coloring and stacking to create stunning 3D kaleidoscopes. You know, before I even go any further, I want to show you, here's a sample of what you can do with these die cuts. And you'll see the die cuts in a moment, but you can see that they are gold foil, but they're actually white with gold foiling, and then you can color them in. So these are colored with, wa with watercolor pencils, actually. A little tiny bit of water helps to blend those, and you can stack them. So that's what they mean by kaleidoscope. You can go ahead and stack them with foam tape, and you get sort of a kaleidoscope look. All of these, I'd love to see all of those spinning somehow. That would be really neat. And then they also come with sentiments and borders. So let me go ahead and get into the book, the pad itself. It measures eight inches by eight inches. You're going to get 30 die cut sheets in here on 350 weight GSM cardstock. So it's a nice, it's heavy enough that these uh, die cuts are going to be substantial. And just look at those designs. So first you're seeing it in gold. So there are six designs total within the book. We all, we will take a look at all of them. They come in gold, silver, and they come in black so that you can come the black outline so you can color them in. So I like this. This has this one little gold dot that you can pop out and place on the center, but you can stack all of these together, or you can use them separately. Use them just as they are, gold and white, or color them in. So for the larger designs like this, each of these sheets, you're going to get two of each of these. So two of those gold, I'm going to pass by and now look at the silver. In the same design, you also get two of these silver with those same designs. So just a beautiful look. I like the kaleidoscope idea. It's pretty intricate. And here's the black that I told you about. Black outlines, easy to color in. You don't have the foil on there, so you have two of each. Two gold, two silver, and two black for each of the designs that I'm going to show you. So now let me just go through the different designs. Now here are some more designs. So there's some very large, you have smaller ones, very intricate. And these are just going to be fun to go over with um, markers. You have the gold, you have the silver with um, pencils. The, the, it really picks up the shine, so it can be hard to see, but you can really see the detail on the black. You can. Uh, we have uh, pens called Le Pen, which have a really fine line. They would be perfect for these, but uh, also the new. Um, uh, let's see, the new Spectrum Noir Illustrator pens would be great. They have a nice fine tip, as well as aqua pens, uh, colored pencils. You can take the time to paint these in if you like. That'd be a nice look. Or leave them bl or blank, just as they are. They are beautiful, like big, huge mandalas. So these are uh, each one of these are different designs, just a little bit different, each one of them. Here is the gold, the silver, and the black in the, the next design. And let's move on to another design. So each one of them is just just like I said, just a little bit different. Some of them that are pointed, some of them are scalloped, gold, silver, and black. And remember, there are two each of the designs that I'm showing you. And then we get to the borders. You're going to get one each of the black, of the gold, silver, and black for the borders. But the borders are great to add a finishing touch to your, um, to your card. And these are real simple, as with all of these die cuts, very simple to just pop out. They are perforated and ready to go, just like that. They're not adhesive. You're going to have to glue those on. But some nice borders, thin ones, thick ones, they come in black or gold. <laughs> You're going to get one in gold, one in silver, and one in black. There we go. So the perfect for card making, perfect for scrapbooking. And those are about, oh, I, let me back up for just a second. So it's an eight inch page. So those are about seven and a half inches long. And so two of those together would span across a scrapbook page easily. And then you're going to get sentiments. Best of luck just for you to someone special. There's a happy birthday, lovely day, you're the best. Thinking of you. So lots of different sentiments. I, I like this one, lovingly handmade just for you. Congratulations. For lots of different occasions, lots of different shapes, and you get one of those in gold one in silver, and again, one in black. So these would be great to mix and match, and they're going to be um, great for your card making, just like this. And those are the Kaleidoscope's coloring pad die cuts, really, from Hunky Dory.